Um, the topic that I'm supposed to be speaking on, that I am speaking on, is code is poetry. And the subtitle is speaking, sorry, speaking to non-devs like a, like a normal human being. All right, so I think let me start off with finding out. I want to make this a conversation. How, how, how many minutes do I have? About 30. But much have another time. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, all right, cool. Thanks. So I would like to find out, um, like I'm saying, I want to make this a conversation, more of a discussion, like a peer review discussion. How many people in here can write code? Can. And did you go? How many people can not? Zero. Zero. All right. All right. Good. Um, I would like to. <laughs> I would like to find out something. This topic, I got away from a, uh, a discussion. I was just talking to Tapio the other day. She wants to upgrade her website, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And she's like, Ah, but you know what? I'll do it myself. Sort of like what Tawed Zero was saying about some of these uh, other clients. But I know what? I can do these things myself, anyways. And I then ask you, but why would you want to, to go that, that direction? Because you're, you're a blogger. That's what you understand pretty much. She can say, no problem. And I realized that the problem is simply that our clients do not speak code. Right? And um, in just normal, normal English, guys. It's a bit of a problem. So I realized it's, a, it's definitely a communication problem. And I was just talking to, to Tawetze, and I was saying, Guti, I'm sort of building up on what he was speaking about. So the idea here is, um, I'd just like to find out from a few people how they interact with their clients pretty much the first time, how they collect the data, how they collect the content, how they collect the information, and how they convey that message to the client to make sure Kuti, you know, Famba say. So I would like just a few volunteers. It seems there's already some hands in the corner there. Tende Kai, I'll start with you. Then I'll come through to you. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, please, please do so everyone can, can hear you. Yeah. I'm going to use the resources right here. I won't even speak much today. Not you, Finn. <laughs> ah, you a round of applause, kind of guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, my name is Tendekai, and yeah, I'm a developer person. So, <clears throat> for us, normally when we meet a client, um, before we set up a meeting, unless they want to meet first, which we prefer to do the other way around, is if someone calls and said, would like a website and describes a little bit of what they want, in most instances, what we've seen is sometimes they won't really describe exactly what they want. They'll be like, I got your contact details from so-and-so. I would like a website. How much does it cost? Then we're always trying to explain. We're like, okay, for us to give you the cost of a website, we need to know exactly what you want. So then what we then do is we ask, please send us your email, and we will send you a web design questionnaire and if you have any questions, then let us know. But basically on our web design questionnaire, we can see the different things that you need, and then we can coach you accordingly. So that's worked, but it also hasn't worked. So we're also trying to see how we can tweak it, because some of the feedback that we've got from some of the people is that, OK, we see your questionnaire, but some of the questions we don't understand. So for us, it looks straightforward. We're like, no, do you want a... Do you want social media? Do you want this? So we've seen, when we look back on some of the questionnaires that people do fill, we've seen that some of them, they'll, if someone goes through it, they'll answer most of the questions, but in some of them, they'll be like, I actually don't know what this means. So we're just trying to, trying to actually restructure that to see what we can do. And then the other thing we've seen, some people, they're like, I'm so busy, I don't have time for a questionnaire. But I just learned from Tawed Zerwa today what to do with those clients, so it's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. Bless. Can I also have a lady, please, to come through and just let us know how they deal with that first-time interaction with the client? Do I have any lady volunteers for after this guy? Hey. Wow. Hey, Thelma. Trudongo hey, Ziaguti, the first time that you meet with the client, how do you collect the data? How do you collect the content and information from them? How do you speak to them? That's the idea. Don't worry, we'll get to you once he's done. Yeah, thanks. Okay, my name is Leslie. So um, I'm actually a UX designer. 
and uh, then I branched off to learn WordPress, and it's just making my life easier. So what I do, I used to, I studied this um, course called Systems Analysis and Support. So we used to learn how to, to collect a problem, then convert it into a solution. So for me, it's easier if, if a, 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 a client calls me and then you're like, I need a website and stuff, it's easier for me to just meet up in person first. I try by all means to meet up in person, get to know the person, understand, okay, it's a, probably it's a, it's, a, it's a stressful person, maybe it's an easy, relaxed person, or it's an individual, and then uh, we discuss on some of those things. And then I, from that discussion, I can see, and even in my head, I can calculate the costs, I can even calculate on the complex stuff, and I, I, I'm easy, it's easy for me to just tell them, okay, this is going, not going to work, and this is going to work and stuff. So uh, first thing is meeting up in person and then talking later on. Thanks, eh? Um, so I don't see Thelma, she disappeared. But <laughs> in the interest of time, I think I'll just move ahead. So um, the reason why I just asked these guys to come through, Antetiga, is I think it's about, like I was saying, it's about peer review. It's about understanding how other people deal with certain things. And what I've realized is um, the whole issue that I was saying about devs and non-devs. I realized that a lot of times there is a, what they call an information asymmetry, Antetiga, where the developer is saying whatever, he's saying one, two, three, we shall do this for you, we shall do that for you. And the client is there and here has got their own understanding. And then Panos needs on a paper when the project has been created. Then you're like, but no, you said you'll do this. So the whole idea here, <laughs> I think let me also share what I do anyways. I, I use the, the questionnaire that the guys at Tall Springs use. That's what I do. That's uh, my first, probably after the meeting, though, after the face-to-face -face meeting, because the whole idea is I want to learn whatever the trade is. I think it was mentioned earlier on, Kuti, do you know what the people who you're working for uh, are doing? Do you understand their brand? Because you need to be able to learn that trade, understand that trade, then figure out how you're going to market it. Because like it or not, guys, we are all marketers here. You might think of yourself as a, as a programmer, et cetera, et cetera, but the moment that you then uh, are using this software here for content management and pushing people's brands online, you're a marketer. So you need to figure out and start learning how to market stuff, how to market brands, et cetera, et cetera. Because so many times when you look at Zimbabwean uh, websites, I felt like they're just basically a magazine, right? It's just there, bah. You see, it's a logo there, you know? <laughs> it's a logo there, it's a, it's, a it's a slider, it's a welcome slider. It's always welcome to every time, you know? <laughs> then you go down about us, then there's, you know, our team, and you can just tell, but Panapa, what just basically happened was a person just went to Elegant Themes, or they went, to <laughs> they went to Theme Forest, and they just took something, then they just basically replaced the content. But it's now about understanding, could you know, but guys, what are your targets? What are your goals? Et cetera, et cetera. Then you start figuring out what the exact um, approach to marketing them online is. So I said before, I do social media management too. And there's been times when I had a client for web design who ended up referring, could you know, but you know what, you don't need to go with this first. Because at the end of the day, there's also the issue of the traffic. How are you going to then redirect people to come through to your website? And you're even looking at their goals, their marketing goals, et cetera, et cetera. Then you realize, no, 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 no. Guys, what you people need right now is to be on social media. You need to humanize your brand, right? And you need to really push your brand there where there's, you know, the majority of the people. Then the website can then come through. Yeah, I didn't even really need 30 minutes, to be honest. But, um, yeah, so this is just basically... <laughs> I did, not need, I did not need those 30 minutes. But what I've just been learning over the last two years of freelancing is it's really, the face-to-face -face meeting is really about then finding out in depth. And you need to be able to speak to them in English, please. Don't speak to them in Python or Java or C++ or HTML or CSS. Don't need to mention what you're using a plugin. Just say it's an application. Just say it's an application. It's really, at times it's just really about the, the terminology, the jargon that you use. That stuff that is that simple can really make the difference between them understanding what you're talking about. Because that's really the, the miscommunication that then takes place. 
But anyways, um, there's out gaga. Ga, ga. um, I don't know if there's really any sort of comments, feedback, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like I said, it's a peer review discussion. We're not really doing much other than that. So I don't know if anybody has anything to say that they think can benefit all of us here.